What's up YouTube? Coming to you live from the Melt Shop again. You guys know I'm having a good time with this if I'm doing multiple videos in a week uh, doing the same thing, just different colors. Today, the million dollar question. Can you inject, well, not inject, but pour hot plastic into injection molds and it work? I don't know. I've never seen anybody do it, but we're gonna find out today. I got a few that I've already made up in there. Haven't come up with a name for this color yet, but I like it and it worked out great. We got the double tail grub mold heating and we've got a single creature bait mold heating. And I got my injectors heating. Not that we're gonna need them, but we are gonna try to heat this plastic and the molds hot enough that we don't warp the molds, but and get the plastic hot enough that it'll pour and stay kind of fluid more than normal and get these things to work right. But uh, let's keep this one short and sweet and we'll get back to you. All right, fresh out the microwave. Not quite where I want it, it gotta be hotter. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Still not hotter. Well, it's nice and liquidy, like it's hot enough, but maybe this temp gun just sucks. Yeah, that's hot. All right, we're just gonna do it. <sighs> it takes a little bit since you're not forcing it in there. It's just gotta roll in. So let's do a little bit of that. A little bit of that, 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 a little bit of that. Oh, we're getting close. Guys, if this works, this is going to be insane. These are both pretty hot right now. Almost 400 degrees this one was at. See what it's sitting at now. 374. Oh, 377 and 343. It's only one way to see if it's going to work. You had to try it, right? All right, well, once these uh, molds cool off and this plastisol hardens, uh, turn this thing back on and we'll do the grand finale and find out if these things work. All right, guys. Well, the time has come. Still a little soft, but it's cool. So we'll see if this stone mold worked. I didn't oil these, so it may or may not catch coming out. It still had a little bit of oil left on them from the last time I used them. So, let's see. Well, I mean, it's not terrible, but you can see the tip of that tail's not off, not full all the way, and then this leg didn't feel all the way. And then since I didn't put any oil in there, this thing's pretty dull. But, I mean, it answers our question. It's possible. You just have to have your molds hot enough and have to have your plastic hot enough and it'll work. But we are not going to save that one. That one's going to go right back into the scrap scraps pile. 
and time for the CNC mold. We did my chartreuse mix and this June bug mix from the last video. Alright, what do you guys think? Pause it right now. Tell me what you think. Did it come out good? Or did it do a half and half like that stone mold did? Alright, let's see. If this worked, this is going to be a crazy swirl pattern in here, I would think. With how hot that plastic was. Nope. <sighs> well, maybe if it gets a little bit hotter, like look at that. It's got good swirl. I think I just need to just pour both of them at the same time, let it fill up. Who knows? But we're going to try it one more time. And I think if we can get the, the molds hot enough and the plastic hot enough without burning it, I think we will uh, be successful in our attempt here because we got, I'd say that's about 80%, 85% of that bait filled. This was the part I was worried about, the thick. But yeah, we just got to get a little bit hotter and let it run into them tails. And I think we will have some uh, completed baits. So uh, let's uh, remelt it all, heat it back up, and we'll be back. <sighs> all right, moment of truth. Oh yeah, that feels better. We already knew that one was good. We just make a mess here. We just gonna just gonna do it fast. Let it go. Who cares how it come out? Long as they're full up. Ooh, <laughs> that's gonna be crazy if this works. This is gonna be so much easier than trying to jam those dual injectors in there. I might have to do like a split pot type deal so I can just use one, make it a little bit easier. This is going to be crazy if this works. Well, it's full up. It's not sucking in anymore, so I'm going to let it cool off, and then we'll be right back. All right, this should be cool enough. This mold's pretty warm still. Ooh, look at that mess. <laughs> no telling if this worked or not. We had the mold hotter. We had the plastic hotter. So, only one way to find out. All right, shot number two. If you got it wrong the first time, maybe you got it right this time. Did it work or didn't it work? Mold's warm. One more, more. All right, let's see what we got. No. <laughs> All right. So I feel like with certain molds, this would probably work really well. But these molds that have these little long tails, double tail grubs, the ribbon tail worms, uh, stuff like that, it just, it's just not going to work. I think you would end up burning the plastic before you got it to a point to where it would actually be decent I mean these turned out pretty cool like I like the way the the colors swirled in them just by pouring it like that but I'll stick with the injectors because this uh, definitely isn't gonna work so first attempt second attempt and they both are about even even with the plastic and the mold being a little bit hotter we barely made it any further so uh yeah I think it's uh proved on that one so i feel like depends on the mold you have really these ones not gonna work if you just had like a swim bait mold or something like that you'd probably be better off but uh yeah we're done with it <laughs>